and for more on Nottingham Forest transfer window, we can speak live to the sports broadcaster and Forest fan, Max Hayes now. Max, lovely to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, first of all, your thoughts on Danilo and it, is that what Forest need? Yeah, first of all, thanks for having me guys. Great to talk. I think, look, it's a, it, it's a positive sign of the Forest, similar to Gustavo Scarpa. It's a Brazilian wonder kid. It's someone that can add something a little bit different. Forest have never really had, kind of, a, a, especially in my lifetime, a Brazilian player. We don't really see often kind of Brazilian players that can come into the Premier League and slot in straight away. Forrest will be hoping he does. He's very technically gifted. He's, you know, he's got great stats all over, and Palmares fans have obviously highly rated him. Um, You've got to also realise that he's Gustavo Scarpa's ski uh, teammate, um, so he would have had a bit of an influence on, um, of course, him coming to Nottingham. Um, I think in his interview he said last night that Scarpa said that Nottingham was a great city, the fans were brilliant. So something like that, you know, is crucial to get kind of um, players invested into the culture because Steve Cooper's done a brilliant job of kind of creating a culture so far this season and long may it continue with key players like um, Danilo who are obviously adding to that culture and thriving in Nottingham. I mean, talking of that, that culture, I suppose, it's no secret to just how many players that Forest brought in in the summer. It feels like it's taken a little while to get going, but it seems like there's a real positive feeling around the club at the moment. Do, do you get that kind of vibe? And I suppose how different is, is this window? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Forest have beaten at all in all competitions since kind of mid-September. That's a remarkable stat. It was just a year ago today, actually, that Forest was sat ninth in the championship and just a few weeks before that sat bottom. The job Steve Cooper's done, you know, I, I kind of run out of words to describe the guy because um, honestly Forest fans are so grateful. We're obviously thrilled that he stayed. There was rumours at the start of the season after a thrashing against Leicester 4-0 um, of his job being on the line, which was just complete silliness really. Um, but the club rightly backed him um, and you know, you kind of look at the contrasting game against Leicester at the weekend where we beat them 2-0. It just shows what kind of he's created here. It, it really is that culture. It's that culture where everyone wants to play for the ship. You know, there's been players, you know, Forest kind of possibly not, you know, possibly sign the right many kind of type of players and kind of people. But Forest really need to realise that, you know, those players are now gelling and that and that people need to realise that. And they've come under a lot of criticism, but but Coops has Cooper's done a brilliant job of kind of creating a, a great uh, squad atmosphere and, and dressing room atmosphere which is getting Forest results on and off the pitch. Absolutely. And I suppose away from Danilo then, where else do you feel that Forest need to kind of look at and strengthen this month? Yeah, I mean, I suppose you could talk about uh, certain decisions. I suppose Dean Henderson kind of sadly was um, stretched, kind of nearly stretched off at the weekend. He went down kind of terribly. He's out for three weeks. So, it, you know, it's a blow, but it's not probably as big as people make out whether Wayne Hennessy steps into that role. We've of course got him and Jordan Smith to to replace him. Whether Forrest go out and get another keeper would be kind of interesting to see towards the end of this window. I don't think there's actually a position that Forrest massively need to strengthen him. I think what it is, is it's more getting squad depth now. I think Cooper's got a good start in 11. It's a great start in 11 where you know kind of the players are invested to wear the shirt. They're going to give you everything, especially at home where the city ground's becoming a bit of a fortress at the moment. But now it's about kind of finding a substitutions bench or almost a bench where you can kind of, you, you can look at the bench and you think that's Premier League quality and that's quality that can come on and change the game when things aren't going Forest to, you know, in the way of Forest fortune this season, which will probably happen towards the tail end if we get dragged into a relegation dogfight. But saying that, sat kind of 13th, I think a lot of Forest fans are taking that right now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just lastly, Max, what about outgoings then? Do, do you see any happening this month? Is there a need for maybe one or two to go to free up some space in the squad? Yeah, definitely. I can probably see a few going. Um, you know, uh, O'Brien, Lewis O'Brien's been linked with kind of a move away, which is a, which is a really sad one because he's been a great kind of. I, I always thought when Forrest signed, of course, he played for for Huddersfield against Forest in the playoff final last season. Another one, Sam Surridge. Um, you know, I don't think Sam will want to leave the club from kind of knowing a few things and, and and speaking to Sam's family as well. Is I know that kind of Sam is really invested in Forest, but at, at the end of the day, he's a Championship proven striker. Um, you know, he could go elsewhere. And, and, and probably get game time straight away. Um, saying that, he, he came on for Forest at the weekend, he made a real difference, made a real influence, so I would like to see him stay at the club. Um, you know, of course, there's other players like Emmanuel Dennis, we signed 10 million for him, and he scored 10 goals um, for Watford in a very poor season. So I thought that kind of he'd be a player that would be real influence for Forest. He, he, he hasn't been so far, it's been kind of disappointing. 
Um, I suppose if you wanted to look at a player we could bring in, actually, I suppose kind of the attacking threat. Um, although we have Tyler Wally, who's kind of proven to be a, a very Premier League ready striker at the moment and, um, you know, really kind of adding lots to the Forest team. Yeah, I feel like I've, I've, you've made yourself, you've talked yourself into something there, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Expectation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Max, thank you so much for joining us. Lovely to speak to you. We'll catch you soon. Thanks very much. Cheers. <laughs>